Bismillahirrahmanirrahim See you again in subtopic Extremum of function of two variables We try to determine the extremum point for a function The function with two variables z or f x y We could use second order partial derivative test or d value To find the relative maximum, relative minimum or saddle point to determine the extremum point for a function, we should follow this step. Step 1. Find the first partial derivative with respect to x and y. f sub x and f sub y. Step 2. Determine critical or stationary point using simultaneous equation. When f sub x equal to 0 and f sub y equal to 0. Suppose the point is AB. Step 3. Find a second partial derivative f sub xx, f sub yy and f sub xy. And note that f sub xy is equal to f sub yx. Next, step 4. Hence, determine type of the critical point at AB Using the second order partial derivative test or D value To find the value of D, D is equal to F sub XX times F sub YY minus F sub XY squared If the value of D greater than 0 and F sub XX less than 0 at point AB then the point AB is a relative maximum If D greater than 0 and F sub XX also greater than 0 at AB then the point AB is a relative minimum If D negative or less than 0 at point AB then the point AB is a saddle point and if D is equal to 0, then the point AB is a test fail. Next, we discuss example 3. The question is identify the critical point and find the maximum value of the function. Given fxy equal to xy, minus x squared minus y squared minus 2x minus 2y plus 4 we solve this question by using the fourth step step 1 find the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y f sub x now differentiate xy with respect to x is y minus differentiate x squared is 2x differentiate y squared is 0 differentiate negative 2x is negative 2 differentiate negative 2y is 0 and differentiate 4 is 0 next f sub y x minus 2y minus 2 and step to determine the critical point f sub x is equal to 0 and f sub y is equal to 0 y minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0 equation 1 and x minus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0 is equation 2 To using the simultaneous equation, equation 2 times 2 and equation 1 plus equation 2. Equation 1, y minus 2x minus 2 is equal to 0. Equation 2 times 2, that means negative 4y plus 2x 
minus 4 is equal to 0 and plus y minus 4y is negative 3y negative 2x plus 2x is 0 and negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6 equal to 0 negative 3y equal to 6 and y is equal to negative 2 and next substitute y equal to negative 2 in equation 1 from equation 1 y is equal to negative 2 so negative 2 minus 2x minus 2 equal to 0 negative 2x equal to 4 x equal to negative 2 next when the value of x is negative 2 and the value of y is negative 2 therefore you write the critical point at negative 2 negative 2 and the third step find the second order partial derivative from f sub x y minus 2x minus 2 therefore f sub x x is negative 2 and from f sub y x minus 2y minus 2 therefore f sub y y is negative 2 and find f sub x y from f sub x is 1 therefore step number 4 find the value of d d at the point negative 2 negative 2 is f sub x x times f sub y y minus f sub x y squared equal to negative 2 times negative 2 minus 1 squared equal to 3 when d greater than 0 and f sub x x less than 0 therefore the conclusion is the maximum point at negative 2 negative 2 and the next step find the maximum value the maximum value is substitute the value of x and y in the function f negative 2 negative 2 equal to 4 minus 4 minus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equal to Now, we discuss example 4. Given fxy equal to x squared minus 2xy plus 1 over 3y cubed minus 3y. Determine the nature of the stationary point or the critical point. To solve this question, we follow the step. Step 1, find f sub x. Differentiate with respect to x. 2x minus 2y. And differentiate with respect to y. Negative 2x plus y squared minus 3. Next, step 2. To find the critical point or stationary point, f sub x equal to 0 and f sub y equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 2y equal to 0 
and we simplify x minus y equal to 0 therefore y equal to x and when f sub y equal to 0 negative 2x plus y squared minus 3 equal to 0 now substitute y equal to x negative 2x plus x squared minus 3 equal to 0 in general form x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0 and we can factorize this quadratic x times x 3 times 1 minus 3 plus 1 therefore x equal to 3 and x equal to negative 1 and we note that y equal to x therefore when x equal to 3 y equal to 3 and when x equal to negative 1 y equal to negative 1 we write the conclusion therefore the sessionary points are 3 3 and negative 1 negative 1 next for step 3 find the second order partial derivative find f sub xx from f sub x is 2 and find f sub y from f sub y is 2y and find f sub xy from f sub x is negative 2 at point 3 3 f sub xx equal to 2 f sub yy substitute the value of y is 3 equal to 6 and f sub xy equal to negative 2 and at point negative 1 negative 1 f sub xx equal to 2 f sub yy substitute y is negative 2 sorry substitute y is negative 1 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and f sub xy is negative 2 now we can follow step 4 find the value of d the value of d at point 3 3 is f sub xx 2 times f sub yy is 6 minus f sub xy is negative 2 squared we calculate equal to 8 when d positive greater than 0 and f sub xx greater than 0 therefore the point 3 3 is relative minimum next at point negative 1 negative 1 f sub xx is 2 time f sub yy is negative 2 minus f sub xy is negative 2 squared equal to negative 4 minus 4 equal to negative 8 when d negative or less than 0 therefore the point negative 1 negative 1 is a saddle point okay the end of this subtopic you should try to solve carefully bye